Yo, what is going on guys? Bruin Steel here and welcome back to another WWE broadcast. I'm your host Bruin Steel and today I'm recapping the Monday Night Raw that took place on November 11th, 2024. And before we get started with this video, just want to let you guys know that my friend Canadian Yorker will not be able to make it in this broadcast. Um, like I said in the last couple of broadcasts, I've been super busy, he's been super busy as well, especially Canadian Yorker, um, so we really are trying to find a time to do a broadcast, you know, obviously, and um, another announcement, um, I mentioned it in my last broadcast as well, me, Canadian Yorker, and our friend Joey, we are going to the Monday Night Raw in Boston, December 16th, um, so we're staying there for one night, and yeah, it's going to be a blast, we usually go to the Albany one, um, here in New York, but um, I don't know when the next time WWE is going to come back to Albany, New York, but I mean, but December 16th, mark the calendars, guys. M December 16th, me, Canadian Yorker, and Joey, we're going to Monday Night Raw in Boston. We're going to be there live. Um, like always, I'm going to be uploading my, uh, excuse me, I'm going to be uploading my full matches and hopefully I'm going to be doing a blog as well. So be sure to check that out as well once they are out. That's going to be sometime after Monday. So yeah, so Monday Night Raw, November 11th. Um, I'm recapping it. Um, so let's get started. So the show start off with Gunther, the ring general, the world heavyweight champion making his entrance. And we are official guys. Gunther versus Damian Priest um, for Survivor Series. Uh, Gunther, he gets on mic and reminds us that he is still the World Heavyweight Champion and he doesn't live in the past. He looks in front of him and in front of him is Damien Priest. He gets interrupted by Damien Priest. He said that he wants to see if Gunther would say what he has to say to his face and the ring general offers a replay but Priest cuts him off and say what? He's going to call him street trash, a bomb. Damien said Gunther's vibe is fading and he saw it in his loss in Saudi Arabia and he knows that he can't beat him. Um, he knows that this because the old killer, Gunther, would have taken a swim by him by now. Priest keeps groaning the ring general, but he doesn't throw hands. Damien says that's proof because he knows that if he did, he'll get the, his ass drop right here. Uh, Ludwig Kaiser um, interrupts. He advised Damien to get out of the ring right now before he gets beaten up again because he's not even worthy. Um, Gunther claps his hand over Kaiser's mic and tells him to back down, but he won't listen. Um, Priest clocks him and sends him to the floor and Gunther backs down in the aftermatch We're trading um, Luke Kaiser for stepping out of line. So opening segment Damien Priest and the Gunther as Survivor Series is official guys I have mixed emotions. I think honestly, you know, we've seen Finn Balor complain about Damien getting a world heavyweight champion shot um, shot um, So I could definitely see maybe Finn Balor trying to cost Damien Priest again, and you know, I, I don't know. People are wondering, like, if, is this Damien Priest and Finn Balor feud ever going to end? Is, is it, are they going to feud again, Damien Priest and Finn? I mean, at least, I think Triple H should just book them in like a steel cage or some uh, special match. Maybe Hell in a Cell like they did with CM Punk and Drew, but I'm not quite sure. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see. I mean, you never know. Maybe Damien actually beats Gunther here. And maybe Finn Balor will step up. Once Damien Priest wins the World Heavyweight Championship back, Finn Balor is right there to step up because he's been complaining about, you know, obviously Damien Priest getting a shot, but not him. And Finn Balor wants another match against Damien Priest. And we have to see what goes on. Um... So, um, Damien Control are interviewed backstage. They talk about how EO Sky is going to win. And we see the return of Dakota Kai. Welcome back, Dakota Kai. Um, Dakota Kai was out for three months due to an injury. Um, it was three months. Dakota Kai was out for three months. And um, Damien Control makes their entrance. And we got our first match of the Monday Night Raw. We got Damien Control. We got a returning Dakota Kai. Kyrie Sane, EO Sky versus Pure Fusion Collective, Shayna Baser, um, Sonya Deville, and Zoe Stark. So um, Dakota Kai looking for retribution after Pure Fusion Collective taking her out for three months. Um, talking about this match, EO Sky and Zoe Stark to start this match. Um, bit of Matt grappling, De Deville in gets isolated by Damage Control. Action to the floor. Um, 
Prairie Dream Fusion Collective get the momentum back. Um, Dakota Kai unloading on Bay. Uh, Dakota Kai unloading on Bayser with rapid fire strikes off the ropes. Drop kick, arm drag, block, whip across. Um, huge flying mare from Dakota. Um, handspring kick, trading elbows, big roundhouse kick from the Queen of Space, charging in and low bridge to the apron. Slingshot stop from Kai. Nope. Um, off of the top ropes. Um, face wash. They're around the way. Kicks hit. Um, kicks hits. Uh, Sonia Vu when uh, Sonia wins when Jana ducks and then Bazer puts a half crab on Dakota. Tries to roll up, blocked. Though he clears the apron and keeps watch, but soon enough, Kyrie saying breaks things up. The match breaks down into everybody doing some of the cool territory. The curfew that uh, the curfew that clutch applied, but EO breaks it up. Bazer puts the choke on her. Dakota Kai breaks it up with a kick. EO off the top. EO Sky with a moonsault. On chain of Bazer to win the match. Dam uh, damage control um, defeats Pure Confusion Collective. And, and Dakota Kai gets her revenge. So what a win by damage control. And it's great to see um, Dakota Kai getting a pop. But here's my issue. I think Dakota Kai... I'm not sure if it's going to happen. But I have a strange feeling that Dakota Kai could betray... Um, Kyrie Sane and Eo. I could definitely see a civil war going with damage control. I could see Asuka coming back and teaming with Dakota Kai as a um, heel group. And then you have Dakota Kai and Asuka versus Kyrie Sane and Eo. That that's basically damage control civil war right there. Like I I mean Dakota Kai is known for, you know, betraying people, you know, and I can see it happening. But there's no there's so far I mean this is just it. Dakota Kai just came back but there's so far there's no signs of Dakota Kai um, betraying this group. But I'm not sure. But knowing Dakota Kai's history, remember Dakota Kai betrayed Bailey. Um, she could do it to Kyrie and Eo. Um, so we have to see what happens. But for now, Damian Control gets the big win and Dakota Kai gets redemption on the Pure Fusion Collective by Pitfall. Beautiful moonsault by Eo Sky, by the way. Um, but yeah. Um, a recap, uh, moving forward, a recap of the bloodline. The Usos are backstage with Sami Zayn, and Sami and Jay are smiles and handshakes. Jimmy is group grumpy, obviously, and this is what I said, guys. Um, Survivor Series War Games is going to be 5-on-5, five five, so the OG bloodline and the new bloodline got to find fist members. Um, so we've seen, you know, we've seen Solo ask Seth Rollins. We've seen Sami ask Seth Rollins. We've seen Jimmy Uso ask Ron Breaker. We've seen Jay Uso talk to Rey Mysterio. So this is going to get interesting. So we have to see what happens. Um, but yes. All right. So moving on. We got Kofi Kingston versus Pete Dunne on a one-on-one -on -one match. Kofi Kingston requesting a match with Pete Dunne, which making, which made Xavier Woods a little uncomfortable. You know, the whole shenanigans with the New Day. Um, so Kofi and Pete going at it. Feeling out, um, the crowd chants Butch at Dunn as um, Kingston back hammers him into the ropes. Pete shoves him away and claws his face. Whip reverse battle back body drop to the apron. Kofi dived back in with lateral spring break drop kick off of the corner. Dunn to the floor. Kingston off to the ropes. Um, Dunn's working the arm, dropping a knee to the elbow. Rings of Saturn neck created ply. Stomp to the back of the neck. Kingston throwing hands. Pete staying on the um, staying on the arm, but Kofi fends him off. Kick in the corner, shout off over hell, frog splash, cover for two. Trouble in paradise, Dunn falls to the floor and Woods blasts him while the referee isn't looking. Kofi gets mad at him. Xavier tells him to just go win the match, but Xavier uh, Kofi Kingston gets distracted, drawing at his teammate more, and Pete blasts him with a kick to stand it up. Pete Dunn hits the bitter end on Kofi Kingston. Um, Pete Dunn defeats Kofi Kingston and once again um, Xavier Woods costing Kofi the match and um, they're arguing the New Day it's looking that it's looking to be that it's going to be the end of the New Day they argue their way up to the ramp and obviously they're having their 10th university episode I feel like that's the episode where Xavier Woods will turn heel um, so we have to um, see what happens um, we see Judgment Day 
um, in the clubhouse when Finn Balor pops up to betray Dominic Mysterio for losing to Damon Priest, and we see Dominic Mysterio and Dominic Mysterio, we see Dominic Mysterio, excuse me, <laughs> we see Dominic Mysterio and Finn Balor go at it, and I'm like, damn, Judgment Day is already breaking up, you know, we can see, I'm just interested to see, is Finn Balor gonna, is Finn Balor gonna turn phase? Is Dom gonna leave the group and make a singles run? Maybe Dom is just gonna stay with Liv Morgan and Raquel, separated, and we just have Finn, JD, and Carlito as only one Judgment Day group. I I, I don't know, um, but we have to see what happens. This is getting interesting. Um, so we have to see what happens. Uh, moving on, we see Big Bronson Reed making his entrance. He said that he came out here tonight to tell Seth Rollins he's hell of a competitor, but he isn't a competitor. He's a monster. And last week, he took out Rollins out, but Damon Priest and Sheamus as well. And he will take anyone out that stands between him and taking Seth out for good. And if he wants to revenge, all he has to do is come out. Seth Rollins comes out, he hits the ground running, and they brawl, Then once again, Rollins slip away and throws Reed into the post before clearing the announce table. Bronson cuts him off with a super kick, but Seth dives on him in the timekeeper's area and hammers him with punches. Security swarms and breaks him up, but Reed fights him off and gets back into the ring and fights with Rollins more. Security again then pulls him apart, but Seth gets away and runs around the ring to punch him from, from the apron. Again, security breaks it up, this time Bronson gets away and dies, but... Um, Rollins sidesteps and the dive wipes out the bunch of guards brawling on the ramp and Rose agents and referee join the fray and the separation starts to take as that's the end and eventually Adam Pearce had enough and we're getting Seth Rollins versus Bronson Reed too next week so I feel like Bronson Reed is going to win because you know oh you see Seth Rollins already beat Bronson so they could do like a tiebreaker thing so I think Bronson Reed might win next week I don't know we, we don't know um, but there's going to be uh, uh, Seth Rollins versus Bronson Reed part two next week, so that's going to be amazing um, to watch. Uh, moving on, we got a one-on-one -on -one match. We got Damian Priest versus Ludwig Kaiser. Um, you saw what happened earlier in the Monday Night Raw show. Um, Priest hard whip out in the corner. Kaiser sidesteps the charge and puts him into the post. Hesitation dropkick sends Damian crashing to the floor. Um, California roll from Kaiser. Cover for two. Priest comes back. Broken arrow connects. Huge right hands. Whip to the corner. Damian fired up. Back elbow. Lifting reverse STO. Cover for two. Kaiser ducks a roundhouse. Schoolboy for two. Penalty kick. Nope. Priest. Boxes his ears, kicks, lays him out. Big lateral falls and the straps are down. Gazo. Um, Damon Priest was able to hit the South of Heaven on Ludwig Kaiser to get the win. Ludwig Kaiser defeats, excuse me, Damon Priest defeats Ludwig Kaiser by pitfall with Gunther watching on. So, like I said, I'm excited for this Damon Priest Gunther match. Um, like I said, I think Finn Balor is going to call Damon Priest. Who knows? You might see Damon Priest actually win. You might see. I don't know, but I think we might see Ludwig Kaiser cost Gunther. We we seen we seen some eh between Ludwig Kaiser and Gunther um, in that one segment, but who knows? Anything can happen. But Damon Priest gets the win over Ludwig Kaiser by pitfall. Um, so yeah, uh, and once again, moving to the backseat segment, the OG Bloodline trying to find a partner as well as the uh, new Bloodline. Um, um, Jimmy Uso was trying to talk with Braun Breaker, but Sheamus rolls up. Sheamus rolls up and tells Braun, um, he's got a lot of arrogance, but he gets it. So it's official, guys. Braun Breaker and Sheamus for the IC title next week. So that's going to be a banger of a match. Um, so yeah. Alright, moving on. We got Final Testament greeting a Miz, who Miz got kidnapped. Kerry Cross mocks exciting that he's alive. Uh, Miz said that he's been through a lot and he's going to talk to Ed Pierce and ask for a leave of absence. Um, Cross said that it's unacceptable. Who's mad? Miz didn't get any some inf any information and that the A lister says he finished his business with the wives and he moved on and Kerry needs to move on too. Karen Cross shouts about Paul Ellerance and reminds Miz how about how he threatened to break his legs and tells the author Payne to grab him to take him to the ring. Um, Kerry had shoved a bloody Miz to the mat and demands to know where the wires are. The lights go down, um, and this time the final testament gets the better of the wires. They get into the ring, and Miz brutally takes out Eric Roman out with a steel chair. Final testament and the Miz work the wires six over. They leave them all lame, but Uncle Howley's laughing and laughing and laughing. So, 
pretty much the final testament dumb fucked up um the Miz hitting the, um with a steel chair and um scarlet going after nikki cross and the final testament get the better of why it's six this time and this this feud is going to go on they might actually book a match between these two factions um at survivor series but we have to see what happens all right so moving on to the main event it's great to see main events being um but the woman's um it's great to see the woman getting booked in the main event for the main event we got bianca belair and jay cargo defending their wwe women's tag team championship against judgment day lynn morgan and raquel rodriguez so um back and forth in the feeling open max breaking down on the floor lynn morgan with a big drop kick to wipe out bianca out on the floor um a couple fast paced near falls Rodriguez saves the match for her team. Um, stereo Booth and she and Cargill both wipes out. Nia Jack and Tiffany are here for some reason. Um, Tiffany runs interference while Nia Samoan drops Jade into the apron. Um, Raquel with the cover. Bianca breaks it up. Um, I think the referee was distracted with by it. Um, Stratton running more interference. Naomi comes and cuts her off and falls her into the barricade. Um, she takes Nia down too and Liv cuts her off with a lunge blower. Morgan dives right into a kick from Cargill. Tag to Bianca. Backbreaker rack. Um, Bianca hitting the KOD on Liv Morgan to retain the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. Bianca and Jade defeat the Gentleman Day Raquel Rodriguez and Liv Morgan by pitfall to retain their tag team titles. Um, so what a match. Obviously we all saw this coming. Because that would be insane if Lee, Liv Morgan was two belts instead of one. Um, but we see post-match, Nia Jax attack the tag team champs and Naomi from behind. Um, Io Sky appears, actually. Io Sky comes out, appears to make the save. Um, Shotzi um, in the victory roll stomp takes Tiffany out. Duck a lateral from Raquel. The tag team champion center Packy and Naomi and all the four women work together to take Nia Jax. So you got Jade, Naomi, and Bianca, and Io Sky. I mean, this is all confusing because Io Sky just saved Bianca. I mean, all the history that Bianca had with Io Sky, you know, with Damage Control, and now they're friends of Izzy. Like what? Um, but right here, I think we should have we should have this preview. This might be the preview for War Games, guys. We might see Team Bianca versus Team Liv, but we have to see what happens next week. Um, but anyways, that would do it for this Monday Night Raw. Thank you guys for watching. Um, in terms of grading, I give this show... I mean, it was a great show, but eh. I give this show a B+. Plus. Um, I thought it was great. But um, anyways, that would do it for Monday Night Raw. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Bruin Steel. If you haven't checked out my friend Canadian Yorker's YouTube channel, the link will be in the description of this video, as well as our WWE Wrestling Bros channel, which is pretty much our wrestling channel. So be sure to check that. Uh, be sure to check that channel as well. Um, that link will also be in the description of this video. And like always, um, just want to give you guys that announcement again. December 16th. Me, Canadian Yorker, and our friend Joey, we're going to be in Boston December 16th for Monday Night Raw. Um, I heard there's going to be, yeah, Raw obviously is going to be two hours. People are saying there's going to be a couple dark matches. But if you think about it, um, oh, by the way, next Monday Night Raw um, show is pre-taped. So it's um, this Monday Night Raw was like a double taping. So I guess it's because Thanksgiving is coming up. Um, but that December 16th Monday Night Raw show might be a double taping, I'm not sure. Um, but I would just want to let you guys know that December 16th, me, Canadian Yorker, and our friend Joey, um, we're going to Boston for the Monday Night Raw. We're staying there for a night. Um, it's going to be a hell of a, um, time. Um, like I said, usually we go to the Albany New York shows, but... It's, we, we haven't heard anything yet, so, uh, but like always, I'll be posting the full matches, I'm definitely going to be doing a blog, um, like always, like I always do, um, but anyways, my name is Bruno Steele, thank you guys for watching, if you haven't done so, like, subscribe, um, and if you're new to my channel, comment your favorite WWE wrestler in the comment section, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, take it easy guys, see you guys later.